Derek Huff is here, ladies Yay! and gentlemen. What's up, everybody? Hey, uh, it's first of all, I just gotta say, I I follow you, and so I watch your stories. Yes. And uh, <laughs> I I often feel like you. I saw you. Maybe this was a while ago now, but I saw you. You're coming back from LAX. You get in your car. Mm -hmm. You're with your girlfriend, and you're singing out loud while driving. <laughs> yes. Right. W what were you singing? With you safety. Uh, Celine Dion, yes. Yes, um, that's what it was. Yes. He was, he was... Celine is queen. <laughs> he was just back in town from, I don't know, remember what, but you got in your car, and then I started thinking, I wonder if he did the park and ride where he take, and parks the car, then takes the shot. And oh, then yeah. he's driving and singing out loud yeah. on his way out of LA. It's one of my favorite things ever, is to sing at the top of my lungs in the car, and my girlfriend Haley, she loves Celine Dion, so she when it came on, and she never sings. She no, never, she's not singing. She's she, just looking at you. Yeah, she never <laughs> sings. So she was kind of going, and I was like, I was like, yeah, babe, let's get into this. And then, of course, when it starts recording, she stops, and I'm going full out. So oh, you were going like you were doing your own show. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was as if you were doing your own seatbelt, seatbelt, air guitar, you know, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, so is it because she's a dancer by trade as well, right? Like she she's is a trained dancer. Do you often? Is it a very rhythmic relationship? Do you guys um, often? Sort of sing and dance together. Um, we dance together, yeah. But she, um, she doesn't sing in front of me. She gets embarrassed. She gets shy. Um, but I, I'm, you know, I like to sing in the car and, and jam out. Oh, so good. I love your stories. It's so much fun. I know they're so fun. By the way, the, we just got back from Hawaii uh, yesterday. We went on vacation and we, um, we got stuck in like these like rains and mud. And then we were out in these like private beach. And then there's like 25 dolphins that came swam by us. And then tiger sharks and did you 14 go swim with sea all turtles. Of the animals? I'm guessing. Dude, it was the most incredible thing I've ever done in my entire life. And it was like all just by chance and just random and and amazing. And uh, can I just say to it was the huffs, wild. just to all the huffs, slow down, slow down, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> I, I mean, between you, I saw Julianne doing flips off of a flamenco in a pool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, slow, someone is gonna yeah. get hurt. Yeah. Why? Well, if you could smell me right now, I actually smell like Tiger Bomb because I actually tweaked my neck. But that was from. Sleeping, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Serves you right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, There's, nothing of me. <laughs> There's nothing, I mean. How can I, you not? I yeah. have, I, 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 this is my, this is my jam. If I were to do Celine in your car, this would be the gem. <laughs> oh my gosh! By the way, it's a, it's a, it's automatic response. <laughs> automatic. By the way, it's a funny story actually yeah. with Celine Dion. When, when I first moved to LA, I was on Dancing with the Stars, and it was like my first season. And she came to the show. I think she's performing, and I was walking down the stairs, and she goes, "Derek." And I went, oh, "Yeah." And she's like, "Derek." Huh? I was like, I, was like uh, "I went to go shake her hand, but I was holding my dance shoes." And I was like, "I'm, I'm holding my shoes." She goes, "Derek is holding his shoes." No. Yeah. She starts <laughs> riffing, and I'm like, uh, "Bye." And then I, she walked away, and I'm like, that, I had like my full-on watermelon Does she moment, only where sing? I was like, "I'm holding a water, I'm holding my dance shoes." Does she not speak? Just sing. She only sang to me. Wow. She and she sings. knew my name. And this is this is like 10, 12 years ago. So who knows? Who knows? Has anyone ever heard her speak? Maybe she just sang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, congratulations on you and Jen and the show. You guys are doing such a great job. World of Dance. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's it's such a fun show, man. Incredible. I mean, these dancers, these artistic athletes, are just, you know, it's just this show's on fire, man. I mean, the the, the performances are on on another level from all over the world. It's Are incredible. you, for example, like when I was a, a, a an athlete, when I was <laughs> when I was an athlete as a kid, <laughs> uh, I would always look up to you know the pros. And if there was a quarterback for the Falcons, and I was playing high school, it was like my my dream to meet them. And do these these young dancers? They look at you like the pro quarterback, don't they? Um, you know, some of them, some of them do. I think it's, it, it's, it's pretty awesome, actually. It's, it's also reminds you how long you've been doing this for, too, because someone's yeah, like, you're I've been watching you since, I, remember. I know, <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, I've been watching you since I was 10. I'm like, wait, how old are you now? Like, what's going on? <laughs> um, but saying that, it, it's amazing to see that this generation of dancers and artists, um, emerge and it, it, it just, for me, I'm so inspired and my, my reactions betray me. I, yeah. I watch myself, I'm like, man, do I really make those faces? Yeah. Like, what's happening? But I get so passionate. <laughs> I get so into it. I, I can't help it. I just, I love it so much. And that's why I mean, you got, it's such a, it, it's such a great group of people on the show and you never can get bored watching those dances. Those numbers no. are always so interesting. They're so good. And, um, and, it, and just when you feel like you've seen everything and I'm like, oh, okay, I've kind of seen this before. Yeah. 
and then boom, they do something that just blows your mind, and it, it's just it's just incredible. It's incredible. Well, tickets are on sale now at DerekHuff.com to go see. That's right. Derek Huff Live, the tour. So I can think I can picture this, but tell people what you're doing. It is a you know rock concert for dance. It really is. And what's really exciting about this tour, about this show, is that I'm going to have live musicians. Because in the past, you know, when we do these dance shows, we just are dancing, which is incredible. It's like high energy. Yeah. Um, but for me, I miss that live, you know, music element and having the musicians there on stage with us, infused with the dancing, um, high energy, highly entertaining. I mean, it's going to be an incredible night. I can't wait. I can't wait to go out there. You came and did a number with Kelly and I, Kelly Ripa and I. Yes. Uh, it, it, it's like, how do I just, what did you do? What was uh, that? It was Argentine Tango. It, but it was oh, wow. great, and your dance partner was amazing. Yeah. It was crazy intense. It's like watching athletic events as well. It's not just, I mean, it's performance athleticism. Oh, well, that, that's the thing. Dancers, and in general, I feel like with the speed, the turning, the agility, the I mean, there's so many right. different elements to it that um, that's like what went with the world of dance. Yeah. You know, it really is. We artistic athletes, they're athletes, you know, um, and uh, in fact, I read something today, and I, don't quote me on this, I don't know, because I saw it, but I don't know if it's real, but Albert Einstein said, um, dancers are athletes of God, or something like that. Yeah. And I was well, like, I was like, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take I was it. like, it sounds, it sounds poetic, and I was like, yes. oh, I might say that. The God, they are, that's what they are. <laughs> that, this is, you're, now you're preaching, I like it. <laughs> hey, now. Um, but no, I, I have to say, it's going to be uh, exciting. I'm going to 60 different cities. Wow. Um, you know, we're gonna be doing over to 70 shows, uh, just, you know, full out, full, just high octane entertainment. Um, yeah, I can't wait. And I, I love that. I love meeting the audience. I love, you know, doing the meet and greets before the show and, and getting to know everybody and seeing them and looking them in the eyes and giving them a hug and taking pictures and stuff. I, I really thoroughly enjoy that. It's funny because I talked to some artists and some people and they're like, oh, I have to go meet. Uh -huh. I'm like, that's my favorite part that because that's why I like to go out and tour. I like to see the people and. And to interact and then then go out and perform, you know, and it's it's uh it's it's an amazing relationship that I just love doing. So, Derek Huff, he is growing up. I, I mean, mean, he you are no longer a child. I have a few hairs on my chest now. Yes, <laughs> yeah. is that true? I do. America's no. been waiting. No, I don't. Okay, <laughs> I didn't think so. But do you you know I, I do you feel you've got uh you've got a lot of of girls in your women in your family I do. you've got a lot of family members you're in this relationship like do you start thinking about your future and start thinking about the the plan for Derek Cuff who would sure. be the first the first boy to get married in the, the only boy and the um, only. <laughs> you start thinking about that yourself um yeah sometimes sometimes but you know it's funny there's been so many people getting engaged recently and getting married and when you say people you mean huffs um yeah I mean huffs but I also <laughs> mean just people in my in my circle and my in right. my work and and um, I'm just kind of like letting them enjoy that, you know. And, yeah, no, and you don't want to hug. Yeah, no, no, no. And so my 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 time will come. We'll see when that happens. So. Do you ever thirst quench? I'm gonna ask uh, you. Do it's you not ever quench thirst trap? Do you ever thirst trap, Derek? Thirst trap. Do you know what that is? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, me, Tell young Derek Huff what that <laughs> Please is. Please tell me. So a thirst trap is when you post a photo on Instagram, uh -huh. knowing that it's gonna get a reaction from somebody that you're crushing on. Oh, that I'm crushing on. Yeah. Well, to be honest with you. Uh, okay. So no. not now because yeah. you're in a right. relationship, but, but before. I feel you. I feel yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Like where um, your body looks really good. I feel like every post you know what? Derek's is a thirst yeah, point. Totally. <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. That you used to do that when you text each other, right? You send no, photos. No, no, no. You, you, you do it on something. your social. You're such an old man. This is a new way of doing it, bro. Man, guys. Or put it in your story so that they see it, and then they're like, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah and it gets yeah. a reaction. Yeah. You're like, yeah, that's why I did it. I think, I, I think I've done that. Yeah. Well, like, I thought you were thirst quenching me with this photo of you in black slacks and no shirt standing on a, I don't know, a supernova. <laughs> a supernova. Yes. Yes. <laughs>